very general question, um, Tony. What was your experience like playing in your first test match? Uh, yeah, it was exciting. Um, obviously, it was really, uh, it was much better that we, we ended off winning. Um, I think it was nice to um, see, I was telling friends of mine that, I mean, to be that close to watch KG kind of take the game by the scruff of its neck, there was just basically being really close to greatness, watching Aiden bat like that. So it was a lot of exciting moments and, and things in the game. So I was, I was really happy I could take part in it. Thanks, Drew and Gama. Um, yes, um, hi Tony. Thank you, Lucy. Um, just a question, man, on, on, on how you, you guys uh, have reflected on, on the betting performance the, from, from, from that first test match. You know, um, what have been like some of the conversations that you guys have had, um, looking at the way that you guys have performed in that, in that second innings in, in Centurion? Yeah, obviously our performance in the second innings wasn't ideal. They did bowl uh, quite well, um, which doesn't, uh, isn't an excuse. Um, I think obviously today we'll have a hard training session, Shooks and um, Neil Mack and Kruger and Ruben, all the guys will get together, we'll have meetings, discuss things that we obviously identified we can get better at. Um, obviously wanting to build longer partnerships, take care of that new ball a little bit better, similar to what Dean and Aiden did do in the first innings um, and just and kind of do it for a bit longer. Um, but yeah, obviously when we have our batters meeting today, they'll definitely pick up on things and maybe next time we'll speak, I'll have more insights for you. Thanks, uh, we'll go to Stu again. Um, Tony, um, one of the things Shukri mentioned um, a few weeks ago when the squad was named was uh, he saw you as a future captain. Firstly, how do you feel about that? And then to follow on to that is, um, do you start to prepare yourself mentally for, for that kind of thing and start looking into leadership a little bit more and discussing those kinds of things with him and senior players in the squad? Uh, to be honest, no. I think first, my first goal is obviously to try my best to cement my, my position wherever that is for the team. Um, and that's, I can only really do that by weight of, weight of runs. Um, I think if you're going to be a good leader, you're going to have to lead from the front with runs. And I think I can't really do that until I've really done well for the team, impacted some match winning performances and stuff like that. So for now, I don't think that's anything that I've really thought about or given much uh, attention to. I think for now, obviously, we have a, a test series to, to win and I'd love to be a part of that and love to, like I said earlier, have some performances that contribute towards that. I think if those kind of things happen in the future, obviously you'd grab them with both hands you'd, um, and I'd be really excited. But I think for now, that's, that's a bit of a way away and my focus is solely on the team and, and putting in the performances. Thanks, Stu. We're going to go high and see Neil. Hi, Tony. Um, congrats on the test debut last week. Um, just wanted to ask you, it's going to sound a bit obvious, but um, just how... Um, how much did it help you that you actually went into your test debut and actually into this national squad on the back of some some red hot form? I mean, um, you know, it sometimes happens in cricket, you know, that you, you obviously pave your way into a national side, but sometimes you don't get the opportunity when you're actually on the crest of that wave, I almost wanted to say, because of various factors. So did it help that you went into this debut on the back of like 500 runs and an average of 100? I think so. I think obviously, you know, it's a, it's a level up. Um, so you obviously are aware that maybe the intensity increases. You're obviously going to face uh, better bowlers. But like you said, when you come in with a few runs, then you can trust that what you what you have in the locker or what you have in your repertoire will be good enough. And you maybe the doubts don't creep in as early. So I think, yeah, it definitely helps. Um, and hopefully I can bring that form into this next game. Thanks, Heinz. Neil? I know talk about pitches can be um, a little boring, but um, did you think that uh, the, the, t the first test pitch was, was fit for purpose or did you think it was slightly too weighted in favour of the bowlers? To be honest, I think it was a decent pitch. I mean, there was a time then uh, when Aidan and uh, Keegan were batting, they looked like they were on a, on, a, on a different wicket to the rest of us. And then obviously there is, on a wicket like that, there is going to be a ball that has your name on it uh, with it keeping up and down and obviously a, a lot of sideways movement. Um, I think obviously that will probably be the chats going into this next game, how we can apply ourselves better, how we can combat those um, types of conditions. I'm sure the wonders we'll have to see when we get to the ground what kind of wicket it is. But I don't think it was... Uh, unfairly weighted towards the bowlers. I think obviously when you do have Anna and KG, it can probably look like that. Um, but I think, I think it was all right, to be honest.